Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use a noise gate. A noise gate is a good tool used to cut out any low level or excessive bleed of an audio track. For example, it's very good on drums as you'll have quite a few microphones set up and they will pick up the overall sound in the background as well as the main source, so this will help reduce any excess sound to help keep the signal clean. So I've pulled up the noise gate in Logic here and we'll show you how to use the basic settings, which is the threshold, reduction, attack, hold and release. And I've just bounced a kick track with some reverb on it to show you how it will cut out the sounds. So how a noise gate works is that it will effectively silence a channel unless a signal on it hits the threshold. So I'll drop the threshold right down to minus 100, so the signal will always be above that as this is digital silence. Then I'll start to increase the threshold and the noise gate should kick in at around minus 50 with this kind of signal. And then you can hear how it really works when we hit minus 30 and above. So as you can see the closed light started flashing when we hit around minus 60, meaning it's stopping any signal from coming through, so it would be silent. Then at minus 30 you could tell it was only letting these peaks of audio through, as the initial hit is the loudest part. So the threshold was initially hit, then as the sound decayed and dropped below the threshold again, the signal was cut to silent. And then at above minus 10, the signal itself didn't get that loud, so it couldn't pass the threshold, so no signal was coming through. Next we have the reduction, which is quite self-explanatory. This is how much the signal will be reduced by when it drops below the threshold. So we're on minus 100 here, which is very hard setting, leaving digital silence when the gate is closed. Or you can have a higher setting for only a slight reduction when the signal drops below the threshold again. Next we have the attack, which is how quickly the gate will open once the threshold has been hit, and if you play around with it you can get some interesting sounds. But generally below 5 milliseconds is a good setting as you want it to be nice and quick. Next is the hold, which is how long the gate will stay open for, letting the signal through. This depends on what you're using it on, as you may want quite a lot of audio tail left in, in which case you want a longer hold, or if it's quick and snappy kind of sound, you want a shorter hold to keep it clean. Lastly is the release. This is how long it takes for the gate to close after the hold. This one's quite important as if it's too short it can make the signal sound rather unnatural but left too long and it will keep too much of the audio tail in it so around 10 milliseconds is quite a good setting. A noise gate is a very simple and effective processing tool to tidy up any kind of signal whether it be bleed reduction on a live setting or reducing breathing noises on vocals. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching, cheers.